Hey what's up everyone, so today I'm going to bring you another Cinema 4D tutorial So I'm going to show you how to do a basic lighting setup with this very simple scene So what I have here is a boy character and a simple studio platform And that's it, so I have a very basic material down here So we will not focus a lot in material in this tutorial So we just want to focus on the lighting only Okay, so first let's just give it a render. So this is the default light. So super ugly, right? So let's change this. All right. So first thing, let's create a light. So this is going to be our global light. So this light will responsible for the global light intensity. So let's go to general and turn on the ambient illumination. So as you can see, that what it does is to lighting up the whole scene evenly so you can see that everything is looks super flat here right so you can move these things everywhere it doesn't really matter um, so let's reduce it to maybe just 70 percent all right so next thing let's create a area light and let me turn off this camera so we can freely move around so we have this area light here and we can reduce the size by clicking on this yellow dot here it doesn't need it to be that big right so let's move around here and let's rotate it toward the um, character here so next thing I wanted to do is to uh, go to details and turn this on so what it does is to emit the light in one direction only instead of two so let me just rotate it back to the character right here and maybe a little bit facing down like this all right so let's just quickly see how it's gonna affect the whole things all right so you can see here this is the default light and this is what we have so far still pretty ugly so what's missing here is you can see that it's there's no shadow in the scene so let's go to general and turn on the shadow and select area shadow and try it again so it's look a little bit better but it's still missing a lot of shadow of this model so what we can do is just go to render setting and add some ambient occlusion effect Go to ambient occlusion. All right, and now let's try it again. So you can see that what it does is it bring up the shadow in each of the details. So all the area here is covered in the shadow. So it looks much more realistic than what we had before, right? All right, so we have some decent shadow here. So let's work on the light to make it more interesting. Um, so let's go here, let's select this line and go to detailed uh, draw it down here and in the fall off let's select this inverse square so what it does is to create a kind of fall off for the light so the, the reason we need it is because in reality uh, the lights will become weaker when it gets further from the, when it get away from the light source right so if you turn this off the light is just spreading evenly everywhere so it's not really physically accurate so if you turn this on you can see that there's a fold off circle here so you can, you can easily control the amount of light uh, coming out from the light source like this so maybe less Let's zoom it back here and adjust this just enough to 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 to, to affect the, the character here. Right? And I wanted to maybe bring up to one something and then now let's see how it's affect our scene. So now you can see that it's getting much much better now. So if you compare to our previous scene this and this just look much more interesting alright so now uh, it's a little bit dark in this side so I want to lighten up this part a little bit 
so let's get back to our um, scene here and let's rename it to key light and duplicate this and rename it to the field light all right now we can select this and move this to this position and rotate it back to our character here then go to general and reduce the intensity maybe to 80 and now let's see how it's looking all right so this is getting so much better so as you see here this scene is very dark in here and, and from here you can see all the detail here because we have this few light so the key here is to keep the keys light always stronger than the field light so the field light just just for you to kind of brighten up a certain area of the models but the key light is to create this kind of nice highlight on the, the character all right so that's basically it so uh, from here you can totally play around with all of these settings to explore new look and feel you can move this around you can even play around with the colors and find out some interesting output by just combine all of these uh, settings together um, so I hope this tutorial is useful for you guys especially for those who are just getting started with Cinema 4D and so I hope this will get you on board on basic lighting super fast and can help you to create super cool thing by just using very simple uh, light like this so Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.